How's it going, guys? It is AJB here, and we have story time. Thank you guys for supporting this series. Um, this first story, um, this is a very, very interesting story. It comes from a good friend of mine, Hope X Sniping 1730, uh, I believe is his name. I'll put him in the description. I've known him for a while. He's a great guy, and he makes good videos too, so you should check him out. So here is his story. Um, this is a sad story, unfortunately, but first off, it was, um, he was just going into middle school, and his right hand started to hurt after his birthday party, so he just thought it was a coincidence, he must have, like, banged it up at the party or whatever, so he just moved along, but then his shoulder started to hurt, but the hand went away, so that was kind of a weird coincidence, and it was the same, same shoulder, and, I mean, it was the same side, his shoulder and his hand. It was just kind of a weird coincidence, he thought. And then he starts to um, lose the pain in the shoulder, and he starts to limp. So he decides to go to the doctor. And um, they sent him to a hospital, actually, because they didn't know really what it was. So um, the, the people at the hospital were unsure what he was at first. Then they diagnosed him with a disease that only 3% of the affected people are males, which is pretty unlucky for him. So they test his joints, and none of them are mobile, like, movable without pain. It's like arthritis very difficult to go through, especially when you're a kid like that and you like to run around and stuff. So for a whole year, none of his joints were completely mobile, or all of his joints weren't mobile at the same time, so he really couldn't do anything. Um, he goes back to the doctor, and then he finds out he had a silent strep infection, so he had strep throat that got worse and worse, and it wasn't even able to be treated because they didn't even know it was there. And he was on three medicines each day, and he had... I mean, he's on three medicines and he had to take two of them multiple times each day, so that's no fun. And to make matters even worse, um, he, so the disease wouldn't go towards his, to, to his heart, he had to get a um, shot where the sun don't shine every, don't, like, in the butt, like, every um, month, so that's really not fun. And it was a huge needle, he said, so that doesn't sound very fun at all. That must really suck. And then he went to the doctor to a heart doctor and it turns out he had an unrelated heart defect as well and he can't do any contact sports so he just kinda has to live with that now which is pretty awful I mean I don't know what I'd do without like hockey and stuff like full contact hockey but he has to live with it and he's making the best of it by making good videos for you guys so it would mean a lot if you guys would check out his channel cause that's a very very inspirational story to see that he's still going strong he's still having a good t he's still having a good time with life and yeah he's just it's just a terrible experience he couldn't help himself to make a video about it but um yeah guys um that's very inspirational to see like even if you have such a terrible problem you can make the most of it you can still have a good time in life you'll still laugh you'll still have friends you'll still find a hobby and i think youtube is great to do and like maybe music or something I don't know but it's just really awesome to see someone who has something very permanent with him and he's just making the most of it and still a great person and he's not he's not like a morbid or anything in his thoughts he's just a really cool guy and that's just really cool um thanks for telling the story man um thoughts and prayers out for you because I'm sure this is still going on you're still not the same but yeah that sucks um Thank you for sharing your story. I'm sure one of us, at least all one of us, has been touched by that. And even if no one was, I certainly was. <laughs> so, next story, this is actually kind of a hopeful story. Um, he asked for his name to be confidential, which I totally respect. This is a very interesting story. Um, so, when, he was, when this um, person was born, well, I'll just read it from his perspective. So, when I was born, my parents were told that I had around seven holes in my heart and that I would have to get surgery to fix it. They were also told that I wouldn't be able to play sports, I'd be smaller than everyone else, weaker, and I just wouldn't be able to keep up with anyone. My parents went to church and prayed almost every day for help. When we returned to the hospital a couple weeks later, the doctors checked me again, and they said most of the holes in my heart went away, and I only had a couple left. They said it was a miracle, and I didn't need to get surgery anymore. And now I have been playing triple, playing hockey for my whole life. I'm bigger, stronger, and faster than most. I play major midget triple A, which is a nice league, and I have a chance to draft in the OHL. That's awesome. And that's my story. Hope you like it. Keep up the good work. Like, that is an incredible story. Like, you have this really 
holes in your heart are definitely not a good thing. And just for it to be like miraculously cured, that's awesome. Like that's really awesome. I've always believed. Well, I haven't always believed in God, but for the past like I'd say five, six years. I've really started to believe in God a lot more. I've been praying and stuff. It's just really cool because I don't know. Like I've never had a, like a super miracle like that is. Like you're gonna get surgery for something, but it's just so cool to see that there is always a chance for things to get better, no matter how bleak it seems. And I just want to thank you for that story because that certainly inspired me to keep up with things and never give up because something could always happen, and it's just incredible. Thank you very much for sharing that story. That's actually really cool, and I, I'm really glad you shared that. So, um, that was story time, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Um, please submit your own stories. Um, it's always fun. Um, hopefully we can have some more stories next time. And until next time, guys. I'll